Okay. I did something cool today, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, it has to do with this gas. I hooked it up to my beautiful gas stove. As you can see, I've got three um, plates and then one is electric, the one at the back there. And at the front, you can see I've got the igniter. Uh, this is for the oven. Oven. This is the electric one. And these three are all gas over here. So in theory, you push these down and turn them. And at the same time, you hit the switch. And then you've got some gas to cook with on your stove. But first, you need to have one of these, a gas tank, ideally full. <laughs> so I took it to a gas station. There's none in Lubomets, which is a bit annoying, but you don't have to fill it off too often. This will last me quite a while. I don't cook that much, so it's actually going to last me a very long time. I, I eat stuff that's raw and, you know, fruit and, yeah, raw veggies, salads. It's summer, so, you know, it's, I'm going to use it very little. So... It's gonna last quite a long time. It looks like 11 kilograms. That might be right, something around 11. And let me tell you what I did today. All right, so first thing I did was put this where I wanted, or as close as possible to the stove. And yeah, excuse the dirt, it is right rather dirty, but that's okay. <laughs> it still works. Um, this is the regulator, by the way, this top little bit here, that's the regulator. And here you can see it says off, and over there it says on. And I currently have it on because I've hooked it up and made sure it works. Now, gas pipes come in two sizes here in Bulgaria. It's either 8 or a 10 millimeter. So the connector inside here is very simple. It's just a straight um, hollow with a couple of little bumps on it. I've got a picture, so I'll insert that in the video. And um, so it depends on how big that little tube is made out of metal. And all I did was I got two types of short little pieces of this tube from the local DIY store, and I just tested them. And um, the eight millimeter fit, uh, the standard is actually eight millimeters. So if you're really not sure, uh, I would take the eight mils. Okay. And then you want to have a pipe, a gas pipe that's long enough that will actually reach to your stove. So let me show you where it's connected in the stove. Okay. So I've just tilted my stove forward. It's really snug between this countertop and this countertop. So I can leave it and it won't move, but I prefer to not be too far from it. Uh, I just wanted to show you here. This is the connection. There's another metal tube underneath that, that um, the pipe just slips right over it and it's very snug. I added these Jubilee clips because I like having the extra security. They are probably not necessary, but I've added them just to make sure it's extra tight and there's no gas coming out. Another thing I did was, I have a bottle of soapy water here, and I just sprayed it all along here, all the connections here, uh, just to make sure that there's really no leak. Um, I think with gas, you do want to be extra sure. So I checked all of the connectors to see if there's any gas coming out. You can only check this, you can, um, once you've uh, opened the gas, you can go ahead and spray the soapy water on the, all the connections and see if there's any gas leak or any bubbles coming up. If there's bubbles coming up, you've got a problem, you've got a gas leak, <laughs> then you need to seal them better or tighten them up. Like this here is the electric bit for the electric. Uh, and also the oven runs on the electric, so that's what the electric socket is for. And this gas pipe goes down underneath this cabinet, um, which is just a normal cabinet, kitchen cabinet. And then it comes out from here. Very, very simple, very straightforward. And it connects to the gas regulator with another Jubilee clip. So everything very, very simple, actually, straightforward. Okay, I have um, put my stove back in place. And now, 
uh let's let's see how this works <laughs> i don't think i can do it with just one hand because i need to push this in and hold it down and push this at the same time so i can't actually just do that with one hand okay i just realized i can put my phone on a stand <laughs> right so i am going to push down the button and you can hear the gas ah we got fire we got fire and I can make it smaller and bigger. Off. Okay, so I have been thinking about if I should put this in the off position when I'm not using the stove. And I'm undecided. I'm not sure if that is necessary or not. It might just be a safety precaution. Um, if anybody has any advice or experience, uh, please let me know. This is something I am not sure about. I might just turn it off. I might just leave it on. I'm really not sure. Let me know what you think. Okay, so here is the new addition, my beautiful new dehydrator. <laughs> oh my gosh, so excited about this. I had one in Germany and it was just magical. I used it for so many things. And here's the gas bottle. It's very snug, like a bug underneath this tiny, tiny little table. <laughs> it's... Uh, probably a little bit too tight but you know it's not messing with anything up there there is i don't know if you can see but there are a couple millimeters spare <laughs> uh, so it's not messing with the gas so i think it's fine yeah so it's all pretty compact i quite like that um, i'm pretty pleased with this gas bottle dehydrator yeah i'm very very happy this has been a really good morning so now looking back on it, I don't know why I was so intimidated by this project. Um, I guess just because gas can kill you. <laughs> but if you do it right and you do your research, then there's no reason to, to hesitate, you know? Just check it out online. There's all the information online. I watched a couple of YouTubes and it was so straightforward. I mean, there, there's way more complicated gas setups, so mine is really easy. And I'm really grateful for that. <laughs> It's uh, it's giving me confidence. All these little projects that work out just give me a lot of confidence and then I can work up to the more complex things. Uh, yeah, but so far really happy and yeah, motivated. Maybe I'll do another project today. Here's a smudge. Hey smudge. Hi, is it chirpy day? Every day is chirpy day. Yes, <laughs> you're so chirpy. Look at those whiskers. Hello whiskers. Hello, cat. And there's Emma. Emma, are you doing yoga? Are you doing yoga, Boofies? Was that a stretch? So I think today is going to be a little project day, which is pretty exciting. Doing lots of little bits and bobs. And I think one of them might be assembling a table. Oh, fingers crossed. Now that I've said it, it might not happen. <laughs> but another thing I've just done is, look at this. I found a mirror. Woo. I think Emma is very, very lonely. She needs some doggo friends. Poor, poor Wolfie. She's got neighbor doggos, but they don't always come out to play because they're on a chain. So she gets a little bit bored. Like this. Or are you just tired? Maybe bored and tired. Very cute though. <laughs> and Smudgy doing some groomings. And look at this. Hello. I found a mirror which I'm very pleased about. This mirror is very old. As you can see, look at that. That doesn't come off. I don't know what it is. It's um, inside, inside the glass. It's totally smooth on top. <laughs> and then around the edges, you can see, oh, this is a very old mirror. <laughs> yeah, antique, 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 antique mirror. But look at that, it works. Slightly blurry, apparently. No, there we go, it works. <laughs> so this is a good mirror. I'm very happy with it. I think Smudgy approves. And I've just dug it out from behind the closet. And now this is gonna be the hallway mirror. Fantastic. Hey Emma. Okay, so when you come into the door through all the nets, then you see a mirror straight in front of you. And I think that's okay. 
yeah i like hallway mirrors so i cannot have a mirror here because this desk is in the way or chest or whatever so that mirror would just wouldn't work so the only place i could have a mirror is actually here and it works out great this mirror is perfect where it is i don't want to move it i love it unconscious emma <laughs> oh did i give you a fright <gasps> did i give you a fright oh my gosh i'm sorry oh poor buffets she was sleeping and resting and i made a noise sorry <laughs> Okay, so last time I mentioned that I'm not really sitting here anymore because the sun in the afternoon just is too intense coming from this direction and from this direction. And even though I have the blinds, it's just too much. It's just way too hot. It's like sitting in a little, I don't know, sauna, I guess. Um, this is new. I moved this from this room. I took the carpet out from there because yeah, I just like the wood more. It's summer, carpet is for winter, that sort of thing. And I moved the little table over here because I moved the table that was over here, which was taller, into the kitchen. Over there, above the uh, gas a bottle. <laughs> so yeah, I'm shifting a couple of furnitures around and I think this room looks fine now. I really wish I could sit here, but it's just too hot in the afternoon. So I don't want to keep on moving you know like i wouldn't sit here in the morning and then move over here in the afternoon so i basically just moved my work station over here so i've got my comfy chair got my cat <laughs> laptop uh tea snacks all those little things i've basically just moved all of my um comfort things in here this little plant i know it looks worse for wear but it is coming back look little baby shoots they're coming back so i'm not giving up on this little plant it's a mandevilla and it is coming back so it's going to be fine i'm giving it lots of attention while i'm sitting here and yeah it'll come back these guys need to be planted outside <laughs> lemongrass they are ready they've got beautiful roots look at those roots beautiful It's time to put them outside, isn't it, Bailey? Yeah, definitely. Um, this chair usually would be here, but I put it underneath the window so the cats can jump onto the chair and up onto the window. They like lying there in the evening. And I guess just watching the outside go by. There's a fly net on here, so they can't jump out, but they like the fresh air and the view. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so I'm shifting a lot of things around in this room right now. This one was a big one to do. And this whole move was big. Now I'm thinking that I am going to make this room comfortable because it's been a little bit strange, this room. I didn't really know what to do with it. But now that I am going to be spending more time in here, I think I'm going to be shifting a lot of things and just making it feel like it's got more of a flow to it yeah just basically more of a comfort sort of setup this is the burner petchka <laughs> somewhere underneath there <laughs> there it is <laughs> so of course in winter it wouldn't be looking like this at all um i am actually playing with the idea of taking this petchka and moving it into the corner and having it uh, not be flush, but rather have that um, just, yeah, like uh, uh, make it a round corner, if that makes any sense. Um, so basically it wouldn't be flush against the wall. It would be at an angle. So there would be a triangle of space behind it if I put it in that corner. And this would be able to go down to meet it there. It would be a shorter uh, flute. Is it called a flute? Chimney setup? pipes <laughs> it would be shorter so i think that should work out fine the only issue would be to actually move this thing it is incredibly heavy really really heavy so i will maybe use that thing i'm not sure maybe that's just crazy maybe i'll just wait until another human visit yeah it probably is a two-person job so i'll need to get somebody else to help me with this it's so heavy 
And I'd have to take down the flute first before moving it as well anyway, because you can't move it with the flute on it. Um, I do still like the idea of somehow attaching this to this and then sort of just rolling it along. I really like that idea, but I think that's probably not a feasible idea. <laughs> this is a table. It was a bit of a spontaneous purchase from Ikea. You know how they do with their marketing and setup and design. So I purchased a table a little bit spontaneously and it'll be a nice table. So definitely not regretting it. It's just that I probably don't need it, but now that I have it, I will use it. <laughs> so I'm quite happy about it all in all. Um, I just need to actually assemble it. And once I've moved this pechka into the corner, I feel like this table could take its place over there. Or maybe this, this table could be turned 90 degrees because my thinking there is that when I stand here, it's really nice to have a surface here and be able to access the kitchen. So if I could extend this a little bit longer and have it a useful, have a useful surface here, these are my herbs, by the way. This is lavender, this is nettle, and this is plantain in here. So it's all tea, and this is my smellies. Uh, so if I can have a useful surface here, useful surface maybe extended a little bit down there, then I think that would be quite a comfortable setup. Sorry, I'm moving the camera so much. I'll do it a little bit slower, sorry. <laughs> oh, and those are some shelving units that I also want to set up. And I'm planning to put those shelves in that corner. They are just about the same height as the fridge. So that's going to work out really nicely. And then I can use all of that space in that corner, which will make me very happy. Yeah, so lots of projects that need doing and lots of plannings and lots of potentials. And I should probably make my juice because the celery is looking a little bit sad. So I'm going to use the celery, <laughs> cucumber, carrots, and I'm gonna make a juice now. Okay, I just wanna share with you how cute Bailey is. I mean, having cats sleep on tables is just a dream come true for me. Um, it would be a better dream come true if this plant were better, but this is pretty great. This is really amazing. I love cats sleeping on tables. It makes me feel so, so happy. Emma is so chilled. I think because it's gonna be a pretty hot day, so she's preparing. And look at this! Smudgy loves the mirror. Mirror cat. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just so happy that she loves the space and she feels comfortable. Like immediately, I just set this up an hour ago and she feels so comfortable. She's just like, yep, this is my space now. I'm going to sleep here and just be generally adorable as usual. Oh, Smudgy, you're wonderful. Here's Emma being really cute. <laughs> she did a big stretch with her big paws. I love her big paws. <laughs> oh, Hello, cute dog. So when she's awake. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. The button should be there, there, somewhere over here. <laughs>